Well, first of all, I think we can start recording this message for, for the Ravenna Festival, no? where they uh, will be involved in music and monks, mm. uh, tradition, history, mm. culture, Christians, monks mm. uh, from this uh, Camaldoli monastery. Mm. Uh, Catholic. 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 Yes. Catholic. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm. it's open to you, uh, I mean, the, 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 mm. what you would say about that, what you feel mm. about that. Firstly, I would like to express my greeting to your sort of famous festival. Uh, and I think a more significant because of thousand year sort of anniversary. Uh, then, uh, uh, as you told me, uh, as I understand, you said this is uh, mainly was musical and also the prayer or meditation on these things. So, last uh, more than 50 years, uh, I had opportunity to visit a number of Christian monasteries, nunnery, and also prayer meetings in many different countries, uh, India also, uh, as well as other sort of traditions, Muslim, uh, Jews, Judaism, and of course, different Hinduism, uh, Islam. So, uh, what I learned from these experiences all major different world religious traditions, in spite of different philosophical sort of views, and all have one common thing, common practice, that is practice of love, compassion. With that, forgiveness, tolerance, self-discipline, and contentment. Uh, now here, the Christians, uh, and then particularly the monastic sort of system or nunnery, there are many similarities that of Buddhist monks and also I think Jain monks. Uh, so emphasis, meditation. Uh, and then, of course, Christian and generally is serving society, and particularly in the field of education and health. I always use it publicly for mentioning the Christian brothers and sisters really made the greatest contribution regarding education and health every part of the world. I think other traditions, including my own tradition, Buddhist tradition, very little <laughs> making that kind of contribution. Uh, so I always admire. So now you carry some sort of festival or ceremony. So uh, it is very, very important. Now reminds the thousand year old your tradition, something relevant to today's world. Because it is often you see people feel or looks religion is too old, not much relevant to today's world. Uh, uh, maybe some sort of uh, the dress or certain certain things may be old sort of tradition may not be relevant to today's world. But the real essence of the teaching or the, the or practice is love, compassion, as I mentioned earlier. These are even non-believers. These things are uh, immense helpful day to day life. And particularly when you get some sick or you get some trouble, 
uh, uh, and where which you see causing irritation, anger, hatred, fear, a such occasion, the teaching of various major religious tradition is very much sort of helpful. Uh, so it's still relevant. Uh, so such a festival, uh, I hope those people who gathered there not just sort of enjoy the festival, but take the essence and make relevant your own daily life so that uh, you can be uh, sort of a more happier person. For example, a person who even is due to small sort of uh, thing get much irritation. <laughs> Such person uh, through this message eventually can be uh, even big sort of sort of trouble face, you may not develop irritation so that you can keep your peace of mind and calm mind. Uh, so that I also Buddhist monk. My daily life practice these sort of values, these things. So immense help my own life. Age uh, at 16, now nearly uh, what is it, uh, 77, now coming birthday, 77. So uh, my life passing through, not sort of happy one, <laughs> a difficult one. But during this sort of period, what I learned, inner peace, inner self-confidence, uh, very, very helpful to keep peace of mind. Through that way, my health also sort of keep good position. So, so through my own experience, I want to share those of people who gathered there. Now think about our inner value. That's very, very important. And also even the world peace. World peace must develop through inner peace, not through weapon, not through force, but through inner peace. So that I want to tell you, thank you very much.